Let's go over a problem talking about opportunity cost. Let's say there was this person, Sam, and he decides to eat a sandwich for lunch. The sandwich costs him $8, and it takes him one hour to eat it. In the meantime, if he did not eat the sandwich, he could have been working for $10 an hour, or he could have watched that new movie. To make it simple, let's say the movie would have taken one hour to watch, and the ticket would have cost him $5, and would have given him $12 of benefit. And we want to find the opportunity cost of Sam eating the sandwich. That is, what is Sam giving up in dollar value to eat the sandwich? So as you might have remembered, opportunity cost depends on the best foregone alternative. Let's remember what alternative Sam had in this situation. One, he could have worked for $10 an hour. Two, he could have watched movie, which would have costed him $5 and given him a benefit equal to $12. And this movie would have taken one hour to watch. So, remember that opportunity cost depends on the best foregone alternative. In this case, we have two alternatives, and we want to figure out which one of these two is his best foregone alternative. Working for an hour would have given him a net benefit of $10. However, if he watches a movie, he would get $12 of benefit, but it cost him $5 to watch it. So you could sort of think of this as the net benefit as equal to 12 minus 5 equals 7 dollars of net benefit. So which one of these two choices would be his best alternative? He would get 10 dollars of net benefit from working, but only 7 dollars of net benefit from watching the movie, so his best foregone alternative would be working. Now let's try calculating the actual opportunity cost. We remember that the problem says the sandwich cost him $8, and in that time, if he did not buy the sandwich, he would have done the best alternative, which we have just deduced to be working, which is $10 an hour, and so his opportunity cost of eating a sandwich would be $18. And this is how you would find the opportunity cost for a problem like this. Let's think about some assumptions in this problem. One, he chooses to eat sandwich, so that means that eating the sandwich must have had the lowest opportunity cost. Notice that we did not talk about what benefit he got from eating the sandwich, but we would assume that the benefit was such that eating the sandwich would result in the lowest opportunity cost compared with his other two alternatives. And two, we saw that every alternative and eating the sandwich was one hour. What do you think happens if we change the time of each of the activities? Would any of our answers change? Would this depend on how the time changes?